continue with the, the, the laws of faith and with the subtopic that says faith must be based on what God has said. So God remains true to his first intention. The rest of our last point. When Balaam was had been hired by Balak to curse the children of Israel. Now, he, and the understanding is that people, they do not understand when you begin to curse a person whom God has blessed, that you are not dealing with man. We are dealing with God. And God will never change his purposes about that person. So, again, now we're going to talk about God is immutable, never changing in nature or character. And uh, that is why, isn't it, when God has spoken a word, I think Balak never understood that, that the God that we serve is never changing in nature or a character. He is wholly trustworthy. There is no part of God where you can say, in this area, I cannot trust God. I cannot give him 100% like people rate him, the presidents of the country, of the country and the ministers, cabinet ministers. God, you will never come to a point of rating God. He is wholly trustworthy. Everything he does, he does it according to his intention, according to his own plan, because he is a creator. Now, very important, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, the Bible says that God, Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, <clears throat> it's going to use to say in verse 9, do not be careless about with various strange doctrines. Remember, it says doctrines. For it is good, God that it is good that the heart be established by grace. Not with thoughts that have not profited those who have been occupied. Well, it is so good that the heart must be established by the grace that God has given us. Unmerited favor. You know that God, the same Christ, that's what the Bible says, who sustained the leaders in the previous phase, when the Bible speaks about those leaders, that was strengthened. The same Christ who sustained the leaders was there when they were going through all those challenges. You know, he will support them. One of the chief causes of instability uh, of faith is false and also novel teachings. <clears throat> what do I mean by saying that? But novel teachings. Teaching this Bible like a novel, somebody reading a story, you know, uh, like uh, fairy tales. It is so uh, crucial that the same Christ who sustains leaders, you know, in all what, what we are going through, who sustains believers, that he will support us. He is going to support us as making sure that he takes us through to everything that we go through. And it, the, another, thing, another thing that we have mentioned, that it's one of the chief causes of instability of faith is false and but falsehood when we talk, a lie that is coming from the pit of hell, from the devil. Devil is there to tell you all the lies that uh, God, I mean, there are certain things that God can do. There are also some things that God, I mean, will, will not be able to do. God does everything. He gives you his weight. He allows you to be obedient to his weight. Because it makes sure that you have a weight, and that weight, you must, it's a sure weight, and that weight must never, you must never lose heart of that weight. 
So, now it brings us to Romans chapter 10, verse 10, verse 7. Faith must be based on what God has said. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. What does we read there about faith? Romans 10, 10. 10, 10 says, faith comes. Maybe I should read, I mean, of the going back to the to to the to the previous verses. <clears throat> it, it says <clears throat> for, from verse five. Let me read from from verse five. For Moses writes about the righteous the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above who, I mean, or who will descend into abyss that is to bring Christ from the dead. <clears throat> you know, but what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth that the Lord, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So Romans chapter 10, 10, 10, actually gives us, I mean, says, um, it tells us that faith, it has to, number one, you have to receive a word. When you receive that word, that word needs to be developed in your heart. In other words, you are developing your faith that we spoke about, that there is a faith, it has got measurements. Now, there is faith that we, God says, all men who have been given a measurement of faith, we trust God, we go to God and say, Lord, we believe you in this, then it's a measurement. Then, if you remain there, you don't take the word of God. And also, make sure that when God promotes you by bringing some tests according to your age in the spirit, you uh, abide on those things and know that God has not left you. And the challenges that you face, you are going to pass that test. Because it is there to develop your faith. That is why the Bible says, faith comes by hearing. But you're hearing what? The word of God. The faith that is in your heart. That is why Jesus says, I've never seen such a great faith. Because faith has got measurements. Now, it only closes like the last topic that I'll be addressing. When we enjoy those things that are in between the promise and the reception or the final destiny of the journey, not an necessarily final, the end of where God has given you the promise, when you receive that promise. Let us pray and to understand that your faith must begin from the heart which the heart alone can appreciate the fullness of God's grace. Because when you receive Christ, you have received him by the heart. And that heart must make sure that it receives the word of God and it is fed by the word of God. Father God, we thank you for this episode. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And that word has to be developed in our hearts. Put the Spirit of God and we allow it to grow. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.